Well, hello and welcome again to Sci-Fi Model Action, everyone. This is part three of our Mobius Model Submarine Sea View build. And what I'm out here doing today is setting up my uh, lighting and wiring circuit for this model. I plan on doing a little bit of lighting on it here and there. If you guys remember in the first uh, video I shot, we did the uh, lighting test in the forward cabin area, the observation lounge area of the ship. And um, so what I've done now is I've, I've came in with my power supply and I wanted to show you guys this. This is a what's called a wall wart. It's basically an, an AC adapter that plugs into the wall. This one's rated at 9 volts and 1.1 amps. That's around 1400 milliamps. Um, and basically what that is is it's converting AC power to DC power. We need very little power to run all these LEDs and they all run on DC power so we're basically converting it and bringing it down. I've put up a link on the uh, Sci-Fi Model Action website uh, as to a place where I, where I buy these and also I want to mention that uh, uh, this little jack, when you buy this wall wart, you're going to find that it's, most of them are going to have some type of a little jack on the end and not just bare wires. Well, you can buy this separate, uh, this separate uh, wire here that has the jack built in. And uh, various manufacturers of these, they supply a little adapter plugs that change depending on different sizes you might want to use. So this <clears throat> allows you to uh, plug into it directly. And then the other end of the wire, of course, are just two bare uh, wires which you would uh, connect to the base of your model or directly to the however you're bringing power into your model in this case this mock-up here I've got power coming in on the breadboard here but it would if it was in the model it would be connected directly to it with that uh, power coming in and then the power going from there directly to these switches and I'm going to explain a little bit about that right now um, basically what we have here is a circuit where we've got a ground everything on this entire circuit all these lights all share the common ground so everything that's uh, negative on this circuit is all tied together and shares a common ground. The uh, the plus side of the circuit, the positive side, there's a uh, power going to e going to each individual component here, and there's a switch uh, to to interrupt the power. And um, basically, all you're doing is instead of bringing power straight to your lighting, you're just putting a switch which interrupts the circuit, uh, uh, the flow of current coming through, and uh, shuts the lights off and on. So what I'm going to do now is show you that I can. Just by pushing that button, I've got now power feeding to this set of lights. I've got um, uh, these these lights over here, which are the two lights for the tail fins. Uh, these three lights here, one the forward spotlight and the two floodlights on the bottom of the sub. These are the navigation lights that go on the conning tower, or the sail area of the model on the uh, port and starboard side that we normally see. And uh, this bulb right here, you notice it's not lit because I've got a separate circuit here for that, and I'll explain what that is in just a second. Also, this little... Uh, section of lighting right here. Um, so basically what you have is you have power coming in being interrupted by this switch right here where you just turn it off and on by pushing it on or off or on and it's just uh, two poles so you bring your power in solder to one side on the other side you solder your power out wire and bring that to the plus side of everything that's uh, that you want to light with that one particular switch. Okay now getting back to what I was talking about about the other circuit here is I've got this standard set up here which is going to give kind of the standard look or the standard lighting when the model is on display which will be the forward lounge area lit normally uh, the running lights and the floodlights and that type of thing now with this separate switch what I've done here is I decided I wanted to do a cool effect where I could have like the emergency lights on where you see that red lighting that that comes from inside Navy ships and things like that and even on Star Trek where they go to uh, you know uh, battle stations and everything's lit in red I, I think that's some type, type, type of a thing they've done over the years to get everybody focused and maybe you can see the instruments a little bit better somebody out there might be able to explain why they do that a little bit more but kind of a standard procedure so I thought it would look kind of cool and also what that does is it's lit up this orange bulb here which I'm going to use for the uh, ballistic missile uh, launch on top of the uh, sub which you get this nice little clear part that's an exhaust plume for a rocket and the rocket actually mounts on top of this little piece here and this piece here mounts on the hatch of the ship so this orange LED will be mounted in there and, and when I turn this emergency light switch on here basically it, it will turn the emergency light on and it'll give it the look that the rockets being fired now when I don't want that on I can take this little piece off close the hatch and, and the ship can be uh, displayed as normal so that's that's gonna be kind of a fun little thing to do with this so anyway getting back to the entire circuit here uh, what I'm doing with this separate switch here is I've just simply got power coming into it as well from my power source over here and on the other side I've got a wire going directly to this little red strip of LEDs here the plus side and I've got another wire coming off of that running over here to the uh, orange bulb all by itself with a resistor so I'm only controlling these two uh, 
areas of the lighting with this one switch and just interrupting that. If it's if it was wired direct, it would it would all be on at the same time. So all we're doing is putting a switch in between there to interrupt that power, and I'll be able to do that. So. Anyways, um, I hope that helps answer some of the questions you guys have had about some of the basic lighting and things like that. As I mentioned, I put up a, um, I put up a, uh, a link to the, uh, these little wall warts that I'm buying on the uh, science fiction or sci-fi model action.com website. Uh, you, there's a link there to a company called uh, Altex. It's a local company here, but they do have mail order and they've got good prices on uh, those power supplies. And there's uh, the one that I've got featured on there is actually the one that I use most often because it has a selectable voltage output on it. You can go from 3 volts up to 12 depending on um, how much power you're going to need and uh, how many bulbs you're going to use and things like that. So in this case, this 1.1 amp is more than enough for what we're doing here. So anyway, that's uh, basic lighting and we'll be back in the next video which will be part 4 and that will be getting on to the assembly work of the CV. Where I've been doing some painting and assembly on the forward observation area, the interior section, and so when I come back with that we'll have that, uh, some of the uh, painting paint mixes that I chose to use for those interior colors. I'll go through some of that and we'll talk about the assembly of it and we're going to start test fitting some of the parts. So things after this part here is taken care of and the forward lounge is built, uh, the rest of the ship will go together pretty fast so things will start moving along pretty good and we'll start doing painting and assembly in that. So I hope you guys are checking this out and I uh, hope you guys will build this too. This is a fun model. I really like this kit so far. So until we see you next time on the next video everyone, like I like to say, happy modeling everyone.